Inside this small Dallas County warehouse, these workers are counting soybean seeds, packing them into envelopes, and shipping them to be planted in South America. These particular people then are getting seed ready to send away to our winter nursery. And boss Harry Stein is watching over the entire process. As they grow into plants, new seeds will be harvested and shipped back to the Stein Seed Company in Adel. Stein, who is most at home on his farm, will pick and choose the best ones to start the process all over again. The tiny seeds and the plants they become have made Stein a very wealthy man. This is the most fun thing I know to do. And why is that? Well, creating genetics here in corn and soybeans that are the best in the entire world, what can give you more of a high than that? Thanks to Forbes magazine, Stein is getting a lot of attention. The magazine says his fortune is at least $3 billion. So what's he think about the revelation? We are better known in some of these foreign countries today, frankly, because of that article than we otherwise would be. And it gives us credibility in those areas where people didn't know who we are or what we are. Stein grew up right here in Adel on a 180-acre family farm. Now there are 15,000 acres here, and he runs the largest private family seed company in the world. What's it like to be a billionaire? Well, does it seem like it's any different than anything else? I guess I really don't think about that much. I just try to do what we're doing, have fun doing it. What makes his fortune all the more unusual is that he's dyslexic and a bit autistic, but he's got an almost savant-like ability to absorb thousands of pages of hybrid soybean and corn seed data. Applying logic to genetics is something that's fairly easy for me. Uh, that seems to be a little more difficult for some other people. So what does Stein do with his fortune? Well, he drives a Ford pickup and lives in a modest house next to his seed company headquarters. When people have extremely expensive things, it's almost repulsive to me. Having fun, working hard, and not spending money seemed to be the secret to his success. It's a matter of logic, common sense, and how badly you want to win. Uh, simple as that.